Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I just made a calculation out of curiosity having to do with radio frequency exposure, electromagnetic field exposure uh, that I would get in the worst case scenario with my ham radio station. And the worst case scenario that I can think of uh, would be if I were to sit in either one of those two chairs, where you can only see one of them in this uh, video, at a distance of five feet from the antenna that you see behind me, which is about, that's about as far away as I'm standing from that antenna right now. Now, I, of course, can't operate the station, which is about 30 feet away down in the nerd cave, at the same time I'm standing right next to the antenna. But suppose somebody else was down there operating it. And suppose they operated it on the frequency band that would, according to the uh, site that I consulted from the ARRL on the Internet, would produce the greatest uh, RF exposure of any of the bands that my transceiver is capable of transmitting on, and that would be the 28 or 50, either the 28 or the 50 megahertz band. Suppose that I were to run the highest power level that I characteristically run, which is 7 watts PSK31, which is a continuous 7 watts. On CW I run 10 watts, and based on their duty cycle factor of 40%, the average power then would turn out to be only 4 watts there. So that would be the highest average power that I run on my radio is 7 watts. Suppose somebody was down there, you know, operating and transmitting PSK31 with 7 watts, and I was standing right here making this video, and they were on 28 megahertz. Uh, I don't know what you're going to hear on 28 megahertz these days, but suppose they were just sending a test or whatever they were doing. Um, testing, testing, CQ, CQ, an endless CQ from W1. Good vibrations on PSK31. Uh, how much RF exposure would I be uh, subjecting myself to? Would it exceed the limits imposed or uh, well I don't know how if they can impose them but they but they uh, uh, have uh, made them law in some way or another strict legal limits on RF exposure to stay within the guidelines uh, would I would it be in excess of those guidelines would my physical carcass according to those uh, scientific scientific uh, hypotheses or theories or determinations. Would I be in danger? And the answer is no. At 7 watts average power on 28 megahertz, even taking ground reflection into account from an antenna with 2.2 dBi of gain, that's decibels with respect to an isotropic or equivalent to a dipole. Um, on 28 megahertz that antenna is essentially the equivalent of a dipole in terms of the radiation field around it. This is, uh, I'm right practically of grabbing the antenna. Uh, or if I were sitting in the chair, I would be maybe seven feet away from the antenna, a little further. So the worst case scenario would be if somebody were to start transmitting on it right now at that power level. I would be within compliance guidelines. That is one of the reasons why I like QRP so much. Not one of the very important reasons, because I don't expect to ever be standing out here like this making a video while somebody's transmitting on my antenna. I wonder how it would affect the iPad. Probably wouldn't affect it either, unless you know, on which I'm recording this video. But if I were running 100 watts, that would make the situation altogether different. And if I were running the full legal limit of 1,500 watts, 
um, PEP, peak envelope power, which would be the same as the average power on PSK. Heaven forbid, I'd, uh, I'd be way in excess of the safety guidelines, and it's quite possible uh, that I'd have all kinds of RF in the shack problems. Uh, this iPad might malfunction. Who knows what would happen? Well, that's one of the reasons I favor QRP so much, is I never have trouble with RFI to any of my equipment. I've never had a complaint from a neighbor about RFI or even the suggestion. Say something weird was happening with my uh, telephone or my computer or my TV set the other day. Uh, could that be your ham radio station? Well, I've never even heard any remarks to that effect uh, from anybody ever using this station. Besides that, QRP is fun. I don't think that 7 watts really is true QRP. I think you have to be 5 watts or less. But, well, on CW, the average power is 4 watts. Does that qualify then? I don't know. But, viva la low power! Let's hear it for low power. It keeps a lot of grief out of my life. It, and I have enough grief in my life already. Uh, and bless the powers that be, a lot less grief than a lot of other people have. With that, I will say 73, which means best regards. Turn that power level down. Enjoy ham radio. And so long, which, on CW at least, at any power level, translates into di 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 da di da so long